welcome to superior profit morning market meeting 2nd may 2019 i am sakandanti chief analyst and trader at superior profit based in singapore i will not take time to introduce myself if you are interested to know about me the company or its trading systems and products you may visit the website superiorprofit.co before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience in this session we demonstrate how you can apply q systems for top down bottom up or sideways inside based identification of trade opportunities using live system that was the last slide of the presentation we will look at global markets through their technical analysis, then we will try to find long as well as short opportunities at the pendulum or price extreme low or high that are breaking out of memory trend lines. We will also try to look for trade setups from QH inside and walk through several traders forum recent trade ideas if i don't have time you may visit the traders forum it is accessible from our home page by clicking this forum icon here i keep sharing stock analysis you may find interesting trading ideas from there let's start with global market analysis we'll start with the australian market we will look at the Australian index AXJO using our default weekly, daily at a glance template. Going online, connecting. Sorry about that. Let me restart Metastock. The stock is taking time to load. Let's move on to next topic. I will come back to the global markets. Today at 8.30, there are several important events. Here using Refinitiv Zenith, I am looking at today's events, 2nd May. At 8.30, there is initial jobless claims then continued jobless claim, some data about labor productivity, then factory orders. Factory orders and initial jobless claims, these two are of highest importance. Sometimes that may move the market, oftentimes it does not. Let us start looking at the USA market. Let's start with S&P 500 ETF. S&P 500 made new all-time high on a closing basis. However, now it reversed below the watermark resistance line. In the last market roundup, I mentioned that if SPY goes above the watermark resistance and then 
comes back below that, that will create a false upside breakout. And we may start looking for shorting opportunities at that time, short term swing trading opportunities. I also mentioned that we might do that only if it goes below the daily memory support lines. It is creating a false upside breakout in the weekly chart. However, in the daily, it has not crossed below the memory support line. Therefore, we are not going to look for any shorting opportunity in SPY right now. You may keep an eye on SPY to see if the memory support can be broken. We may find similar picture from the other ETFs as well. QQQ. Here, price is not below the watermark resistance in weekly yet. In the daily also, it is not below the memory support yet. If it can create a false upside breakout, SPY also creates a false upside breakout, then you may look for shorting opportunities even more confident. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA, it was weaker than SPY and QQQ, couldn't make new all-time high. Now it has displayed a bear release signal in the weekly chart. In daily, it is just above the daily memory support line. You may see if it can break below the support line. And lastly, Russell 2000 ETF, IWM, that was the weakest of all. It was far from making a new all time high. In the weekly, it is breaking below the memory support. In the daily, it is about to break below memory support as well. My view as shared in the weekly market roundup remains that if the market starts to roll over or at least pull back a little bit, then the higher probability shorting opportunities will be found from IWM or small cap stocks. Let's look at the next topic. Somehow Metastock didn't start, not sure why. So we'll not look at the global indices today unless I try to see what is going on. Let me see. I don't see Metastock here. One more time trying. Meanwhile, let us start with the sector industry rotation analysis. This is QH dashboard where we see the sector performance. The upper graph shows performance over one day and five day periods. The Worst performing sector right now is energy. It is down over five days, down over one day yesterday. And if we look at the lower graph, we can see it was down one week ago also. Prior to that, for two weeks, it was up. The lower graph shows one month sector performance for last five days, previous five days, and then another two weeks prior to that. Energy is the weakest one right now. It has been weak for a while, so the best shorting opportunities might have passed. Could you identify such shorting opportunities? Yes, you could. And I identified one stock while doing top-down analysis. Now Metastock is open. Let me use Metastock. That was COP. It was not easy to find shorting opportunities in energy sector. Why? Because for two weeks, we can see it went up strongly. Because it went up strongly, 
when it started to pull down, it didn't give any easy trend following short opportunity in most of the stocks, except this one. This is COP. In the weekly chart, it had magenta, that is bearish backdrop candle color for several weeks. It had a memory resistance and then in the daily chart, it created these magenta candles, the flow color candles were magenta for three, three days. Each of them gave a shorting opportunity, trend following shorting opportunity. In the daily price was coming down with lower highs, lower lows. Weekly was coming down with magenta color candle. And then daily gave the magenta flow color candle. Those were the exact entry points for taking short trades. The profit target would be respective lower boundary levels. For each of them, the target was hit before the stop was hit. The stop would be above the recent highs. Here, here, and here. This was one of the possible shorting opportunities. Now COP doesn't have any shorting opportunity. Can we find shorting opportunities in energy stocks now? May not be so easy now. The best opportunities might have passed us because energy is already down for one, two, three weeks. If we include this week, for three weeks it is down. Now Metastock is running. Let's look at the global indices. Start with Australian market, AXJO. I mentioned in the last live webinar that was conducted two days ago, Metastock organized that webinar. There I mentioned that AXJO is at watermark resistance that was created by bearish headwind earlier, bearish headwind, not bullish headwind, possible reversal signal. And this week is creating another bearish headwind signal it is trying to go below the memory support also. If it can close below the memory support, then if you are holding long positions in Australia market, you may be careful. You may protect profit using trailing stop. In the daily chart, it is bullish. Therefore, we may not look for shorting opportunities right now. But if we have long positions and if it can create a false upside breakout, then we may be cautious. Cautious doesn't mean it is bearish. Cautious means that we protect our profits that we have in long positions. Let's look at China market. Trade discussion is going on between China and USA. I noticed that the last day plotted on the chart is 30th April. That is two days ago. Probably there are holidays for two days. Many countries were closed on 1st May. Apparently, China index market is closed today also. Today, China market has already closed. Looking at the data two days ago, we can see in the weekly chart, the candle color currently is magenta. Shape is indecisive. In daily, it made a lower low. Hasn't made a lower high yet. If it can go up a little bit and come down, gives us a magenta color candle, that will give us a trend following short trade opportunity. Right now, there is no trade setup in China market and this data is two days old. However, Hong Kong market was open today. Let's look at Hong Kong market. Hong Kong market displayed a bearish headwind in the weekly chart. The candle color was neutral. The candle shape was indecisive. So far, it is moving sideways since then. This week's candle is a narrow range candle. 
in the daily chart it is still in an uptrend with higher highs higher lows today it touched the memory support line and went up from there because the weekly is yellow we don't have any trend following long trade setup in Hang Seng index this way combining the weekly backdrop color and the daily flow candle color we take trend following trades only when weekly is also in an uptrend we are not relying on only daily chart always relying on weekly and daily both when the daily candle color is magenta or yellow it is showing that it is not in a strong uptrend and then we avoid taking trend following long trades based on daily chart seller let's look at india market india election is going on in the weekly chart here for several weeks the candle color is yellow neutral it is also near the watermark resistance line we are not going to look for buying opportunities right now daily is in an uptrend we are not going to look for shorting opportunity also we may wait for the election result to be out before considering new trades in the india market FTSE market uk market FTSE index here also the weekly candle color is yellow for three weeks daily displayed a bearish headwind at the very top from there price has pulled back here when the bearish headwind came the weekly candle color was already yellow because it is yellow for three weeks now that means this bearish headwind in the daily chart in fact gave a bearish headwind short trade setup if we apply the unambiguous checklist for headwind short trade then all the requirements were met the requirements are there should be a bearish headwind signal the candle shape should be bearish in the daily chart and weekly color should be yellow or shape should be bearish yet the color was yellow so it met all the conditions you could take a bearish headwind short trade reversal type trade right at the close of that day putting stop just above recent high this is a reversal trade so we try to book profit somewhere in the middle of the two boundary lines and today profit could be booked at it hit the lower part of the candle that covered also more than risk taken in the trade that is one of the initial profit targets that we use this was a successful bearish headwind trade setup sometimes the bearish headwind signal comes but there is no trade setup because all the checklist conditions are not met under those conditions we have to protect profit if we have any position in the long direction but not necessarily take a short trade however in this case the trade setup was confirmed and a short trade could be taken usa market we have already looked at let us try to find out some trades both in the long direction as well as in the short direction why because i see IWM Russell 2000 is yellow in the weekly chart neutral for three weeks and it is about to break below memory support both in weekly daily about to doesn't mean that it will for several times it touched the memory support in daily and went up this happened in the futures also market futures so it may bounce up again but if it crosses below the memory support then we may start looking for some shorting opportunities one way to look for high profit possibly high profit shorting opportunities is to look at stocks that are at extreme high and starting to go down so we have a sonar for that at price extreme high and reversing and then we may look for stocks that are breaking below memory support using the short breakout scan we can combine these two scans i have selected two 
of them. Let me run it on a list of stocks that I have. These have liquid options. So they don't only have liquid stocks, but options are also liquid. Therefore, you could use a strategy either using stocks or options if you have a valid trade setup using Q analysis. I'm going to order them properly. First, look for stocks at extreme high reversing and then looking for breakout candidates. I'm running it on the daily interval. And I should choose this option, use the results from the preceding exploration. So they will run in an in a waterfall model. Starting the exploration, it will go through all the 312 stocks. First, it will run the scan number one, then on the result of scan number one, it will run scan number two. I'm running it on live data. I don't store any data on my computer. So I don't have to deal with backup and keeping the data up to date. We have completed both the scans and we have found nine stocks. Now from here, we can proceed in different ways. We could look at the charts using our default at a glance template and see if there is a trade setup or not. Or let me use another way. I'm going to find which of these stocks are fundamentally weak, either in terms of valuation or in terms of earnings growth. Then only I will look at the charts. That is using our Q360 degrees technique, we are going to short not only based on technical weakness, but also only if the stock is fundamentally weak and the industry is also weak or weakening, that is decelerating. One way of doing that is copy the symbols, copy all, then I'm going to do a fundamental and peer analysis of these stocks, fundamental analysis, not peer analysis. I'm going to use QVital for that. It has retrieved the data from Refinitiv Zenith. It has updated the vital statistics. These are the stocks detail. Some of them are ETF, like JNK is an ETF. And we can see these are also ETF. The ETFs don't have the fun fundamental scorecard. Delta Airlines is fundamentally strong in terms of valuation. Valuation is in cyan color and it has a decent earnings growth also. So I'm not looking for a shorting opportunity in that. We can delete that also. HYG also is an ETF. Let's look at the stocks, Lowe's, NKE and NRG. All of them are having poor valuation, very weak overvalued stocks because the valuation column scores are in magenta color. And if we look at the earnings growth in the latest quarter, they are not strong. For lows, it went up slightly from previous quarter, still not very strong. And for Nike, NKE and NRG, earnings growth decelerated. It came down from previous quarter. Therefore, I see in terms of fundamentals, these two stocks are weakest, NKE and NRG. NKE is in footwear and NRG is an independent power producer. Let us check the industry of these two stocks. So we are going to focus on only these two stocks because they are fundamentally weak, both in terms of valuation as well as in terms of earnings growth. To check the industry strength, we can start from sector. Footwear is in consumer discretionary. Footwear industry is weakening. The score was in cyan color in earlier review periods. Now it is turning magenta. If we look at the pace column, then we can see it is showing some deceleration over two days. Therefore, we have a possible shorting candidate in NKE. How could we find it? We could, found it, we could find it by running the sonar for short breakout on stocks that are at extreme high and reversing. 
the other stock was NRG, independent power producer. That will be in energy sector. Is it? Maybe utilities. We can fin filter here directly on the industry tab, independent power producers. It's in utilities. Here also, the score is weak over five days. It improved little bit over two day and one day periods. However, mostly we look at five day period. Sometimes we may look at one day period to look for turn around candidates. This is weak enough to look for a shorting opportunity. We can also see from the pace column that over one day it actually decelerated. There are some insights that are not available from the strength scores. For example, here, it reduced little bit from two day to one day periods in terms of strength score, however, that was not enough to know that it was decelerating. That is being more clear by looking at the pace column. Therefore, we have possible shorting opportunities in both the stocks. Let's look at NRG first. And now I'm using Q Elite on Trade Station. In the weekly chart, it is magenta color, backdrop candle color is magenta for several weeks. That allows us to take go with flow short trades in the daily chart. At the right edge, price is very close to a memory support line. Therefore, we are not going to take a short trade now. This magenta color also had a memory support line nearby that would not allow us to take a short trade. However, on this day, you could take a go with flow trend following short trade. That would be profitable by now. Earlier during sector analysis, did we look at how utility sector was? Let's have a look at that. Utility sector was strong earlier and this specific industry was not strong. This is the reason why during the market roundups, I tend to mention that sector level is too broad to pinpoint trade setups. We need to drill down to the industry level. All the industries in a sector do not move together. However, the stocks inside an industry tend to move together. If we focused only on the sector level, then we would not take a short trade in energy. We would miss that opportunity. That's not the Q technique. Q technique is to look at the industry level, align industry level force with the technical trade setup. And that would allow us to take a short trade in energy, which was technically weak, fundamentals were weak, and the industry was also weak. Let's look at NKE, Nike. Nike, in fact, gave a short trade setup yesterday. And I shared the trade setup in our forum. Let's have a look at that. You may subscribe to the forum to get regular updates on these trade ideas, or you may also follow the Twitter or Facebook pages. Usually the posts are shared in all of them. The forum is having a different purpose because we are able to search the forum based on keywords, and it can look into history and see which stock had a post in the past. This is a post that I shared yesterday based on the snapshots at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's look at the snapshots that I shared. The footwear industry was weakening. The score was turning magenta from cyan. 
and it was decelerating as well as shown by the base column. Fundamentally, it was weak. Valuation and earnings growth was decelerating. We saw that today also. And when I shared the post at that time, I noticed that there was a bearish headwind in the weekly chart. After that, the current week scandal is turning magenta. The shape is also bearish. And when I shared it at that time, it was about to close below the daily memory support line. Relative performance was very weak. There were enough bearish signals. Following our guideline, one would confirm the setup at market close, just before market close. And we can see at the market close, it comfortably closed below the memory support in both weekly, both weekly here, left hand side and daily, giving us a valid breakout short trade setup in a stock that is fundamentally weak in a weak industry and it is breaking down from a very high price level. Another thing that I observe is that after earnings it dropped, dropped sharply with heavy pressure, heavy bearish pressure shown by this magenta star. Then very gradually it went back up to the same price level from where it dropped after earnings. That price level had created a watermark resistance. Price went above that and immediately declined, creating a false upside breakout. I can imagine that when it was breaking out of the watermark resistance from the weekly, it looks like it was making an all time high also at least for the visible range, it is. it was at a high point. And people would be buying, the breakout traders would be buying. But based on fundamental analysis, we saw that valuation was weak. And we would not be buying for a breakout long trade. Instead, we would be looking for a shorting opportunity. You could probably take a short trade on this candle also provided activity was high, which was not true. If activity was very high on this yellow candle, let me clear the chart. We had a false upside breakout. We had a bear release signal at a watermark resistance. The weekly might be yellow also. Many conditions for box short trade setup were met, except that the activity was not very high. So you would be cautious about having any long position, but we would not take a short trade. However, yesterday at market close, we had a valid breakout short trade. If you were watching the stock, maybe as I did when I posted the trade idea, you could enter the trade using tail time intraday chart, not daily chart, intraday chart, and you would have sizable profit by the end of the day if you used put options, for example. Put options tend to work very well when the stock is at a very high price level because the volatility would be very low. And we may look at the volatility using the volatility chart Let's look at that, NKE, and I'm using Q Global on Metastock now. This is the volatility template. We can see it was in a squeeze. It is still in a squeeze. So that was another time to look for trading opportunities. If a stock comes out of a squeeze, sometimes, not always, sometimes it can give a very profitable run in the squeeze breakout direction. We don't have any trade setup based on that because just based on the squeeze, we cannot take a trade. The success rate is not that high. However, in this case, we had a squeeze. The stock was coming out of the squeeze and breaking out of memory support. Weekly had a bearish headwind earlier. Fundamentals were weak. Industry was weak. Everything was weak and it gave us a 
short trade setup yesterday. Let's see if we can run the opposite scans to find a buying opportunity at the very bottom. Now we are going to look for stocks that are at price extreme low and reversing and then breaking out of memory resistance, long breakout setup. Going to order them properly. Run the two scans. We have one stock, ETF actually, UNG. Let's open the chart. UNG. Here we don't have any trade setup. Looking at the chart, it doesn't look like having any trade setup. So we are not going to take any trade in UNG. We looked at the global markets try to find opportunities at extreme price level that are breaking out. We also looked at one trade idea, NKE, that was shared in the Traders Forum. Let's try to see if we can find some trading idea from QH inside. I'll close this chart. In QH, in the inside tab, we have insights on the best performing and worst performing stocks under various categories. We have simple best performing, worst performing stocks, then stocks going up or down with volume pressure, and then best performing growth stocks, worst performing growth stocks, and then best performing value stocks, and worst performing overvalued stocks. If you look at the best performing value stocks, this is one of my favorite categories to look for short term as well as long term buying opportunities. One thing to look at is the industries. Is there some commonality between the industries or sectors? We can see several of them are in real estate. Three of them are in real estate. How is the sector doing? If we look at real estate, Over one day as well as five day periods, real estate is up. In fact, yesterday, only real estate was up. And if we look at the lower graph, we see that real estate is up this week, up one week ago also, and previously it was down. So it seems to be turning around from negative to positive move. We may see that more clearly from the sector tab. Real estate, it is strong now. In fact, over several recent periods, it is one of the best performers. Yesterday, it was the best performer. Over two days also, it is the best performer. That is a good reason to look for buying opportunity in real estate sector. And in QH, inside, we have three real estate stocks that are best performers. Let's look at them using technical charts. I will change the focus on the chart tab on power console, come back to insight and click the chart icon. It will open all the selected stocks using the default template. Here the default template is at a, glass, at a glance template. CDR, here we don't have any buying opportunity because the daily is very close to memory resistance. Close this. This one looks interesting, GEO. Yesterday, it had a very big up move. Price is already above upper boundary level. It is overbought. So today, we would not be looking for a buying opportunity. If we look back, 
this cyan color candle one day ago gave us a go with flow trend following long trade setup. That would be the right time to take a long position in this stock. The industry is strong, at least the sector is strong. Let's look at the industry for this stock, GEO. GEO and we can click the analyze button. Specialized rate, it belongs to specialized rates and the industry is strong. We already know it is a value stock because it came in the inside category, best profit value stock. And we can see that from the stock scorecard also. The valuation score is in cyan color, so it's a value stock. And in this case, it has earnings growth as well. Earnings is improving from negative to positive. Stock was fundamentally strong. Industry was strong and technically it gave us a go with flow trend following long trade setup yesterday. We could take the trade yesterday at market close. I, yesterday means two days ago. Not yesterday at market close, two days ago on this sand color candle. CBL, it is still in a downtrend and there is no trade setup right now. There is a bearish, sorry, not bearish. There is a bullish headwind in weekly chart and there was a bullish headwind in daily few days ago. However, there is a memory resistance very close to price. Yesterday it broke out of the memory resistance but the candle shape was not bullish. So we don't have any of the Q trade setups on CBL right now. So those are the uh, stocks, we found one possible trade opportunity that was in GEO, but that was one day earlier. Healthcare suppliers. Let's look at this stock, Evanos Medical. This one is looking interesting. Yesterday, it tried to break out above the memory resistance, but closed just below that. Weekly has memory support. Weekly candle color is bullish. Today, if it can go above the memory resistance in the daily chart, that may give us a breakout trade opportunity in Evans, F-E-N-S, F-E-N-S, Evans. Let's look at its industry. Healthcare supplies industry is strong instantly. We know that from the cyan color in the recent periods and we have acceleration also over one day and five day periods. Fundamentally, it is a value stock. We know that because we came from that inside category. So it's a value stock trying to break out. If it breaks out today, out of the memory resistance, it may give a buying opportunity. Let's look at some of the other forum posts. As you know, I don't like to pick and choose. We go through all the posts one by one. We already looked at the footwear stock, Nike, that gave a short candidate yesterday. Let's look at the earlier post, previous post. It was on BGS. It was shared, initially shared one month ago, April 5th. At that time, the 360 degree snapshots were like this. The industry packaged foods and meats. Industry was weak, however, looking at the pace column, I saw that it was accelerating. That was good enough reason to look for a long opportunity. That would be buying at the very bottom. BGS was having great valuation and it gave a high dividend yield of 8.1%. So we could consider taking a long position as a dividend play in a value stock where the industry was starting to accelerate. 
on the technical charts, it gave a box long trade setup. I noticed that earlier it dropped during earnings, but recovered sharply, then created multiple bottoms, triple bottom. At the right edge, when I shared the post, it closed above the longer term pivot line, pivot support line with a bull release signal. We already had very high activity supporting price at the same price level earlier. The weekly was yellow, neutral color. That met all the requirements of a box long trade setup. That was the time when I shared it. Looking at the chart, you can see it was catching the very bottom of the stock. Based on industry's acceleration, the stock's fundamental strength, and the stock giving a box long trade setup that allows us to take a reversal trade at multiple bottoms, triple bottom in this case. How is the stock today? Let's look at BGS. I shared the long idea on this day. You could take the trade at the close of that candle, putting stop just below recent low. And since then, it has gone up significantly, hit the upper boundary also. It has covered much more than the risk distance. And following our guideline, at least partial profit would be booked. You may look at the other forum posts. All of them explain stock analysis using industry rotation analysis, technical analysis, as well as fundamental analysis. As you use this technique more and more, you will see when you combine the forces from all these levels with your trade, when you take it, the chance of getting stopped out is much lower and the probability is profit is higher. Let's look at one more post. We have five more minutes. Again, no pick and choose the next post in the forum that was on CYH. It was shared seven days ago. Let's look at the snapshots. Healthcare facilities, it was just turning around at that time. The industry was very weak earlier and then it was just turning around. CYH had great valuation and it had earnings nearby. I noticed that 13th April. How did the chart look like? The chart looked like this. In the weekly, it had memory support price was going up from memory support with a bull release signal. Candle color was weak. weekly candle color was neutral and shape was bullish. In daily, in fact, there was a bullish headwind signal several days ago. You could take a long trade at that time also. But I didn't share the idea at that time. I didn't identify the opportunity at that time. When I identified was on the last candle and that was also a possible by candidate because it was breaking out of the memory resistance. That resistance was breaking and that is significant. The memory resistances are significant and breaking of a memory resistance is also significant. Breaking of resistance is bullish. So I thought it could be a bullish trade idea, keeping in mind the earnings state and also, there was a memory resistance. I mentioned in the analysis in the market roundup also that when the stock comes to the memory resistance, second memory resistance, we need to be careful and we also need to be watchful of the earnings state. Earnings has passed now. Let's look at the stock today. using Q Elite on trade station. This was the bullish headwind. I identified the breakout candidate on this day. And on this day, it hit the memory resistance that we knew was already there and it came down from there. 
watching the reversal using real time chart, you would exit the trade right at the memory resistance. So you would have some profit, short term profit in the trade. Yesterday earnings came out before market open and it had a, and I don't remember before market open or one day before after market close, but it had a big gap down open. I was watching it on real time chat and I knew the memory support was there in the daily chat. There was a bullish headwind earlier at the same level. So there was high chance of the price bouncing up. And if you watch the stock using real time chart, you could take a very profitable gap long trade based on these factors, based on the existence of memory support in daily, a big gap down and fundamentally the stock was strong. It has recovered significantly. Now it is inside a triangle pattern. If it breaks out of the triangle pattern to the upside, you may take a long trade. We would not like to take a short trade here because it is fundamentally strong. If it breaks out to the upside, you may look for a long opportunity. That is all the time we have today. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. You may register for the session from our education menu, live class sub menu. Thank you once again. Have a great week and trade profitably.